Hi, I'm Damien Roy and welcome on my Guitar Lesson YouTube channel. You probably recognize the uh, theme of Game of Thrones here. Uh, today we're going to work on the analysis of this uh, great tune for the uh, uh, TV show. First thing, please subscribe to my Guitar Lesson YouTube channel. Second thing, please like my video. Okay, so this uh, famous music theme uh, for uh, Game of Thrones has been composed by Ramin Jawadi, uh, a great composer who did a lot of other uh, TV shows that you probably know. The first thing that strikes me here is we are in 6-8. You can think of it like a movement by 3 here, but we have this recurring rhythm here. So two uh, 8 notes with two 16s together. And so this really drives the entire uh, soundtrack uh, of this main title theme here of Game of Thrones and that you find also in the new TV show, House of the Dragon. Um, so this rhythm here, uh, I could compare it as uh, like a marching army. Uh, and if you've watched the show, that's absolutely what happens. So it's a recurring rhythm here. And I can make a comparison uh, with um, um, Maurice Ravel's uh, Bolero, uh, where he uh, played a rhythm there uh, that went through the, the entire uh, song that he wrote here, uh, the Bolero. And this is a little bit, uh, it's a different rhythm, of course, here, but it's going like... <laughs> So you could probably recognize that in other uh, TV shows or movie shows there by other famous composers. But this type of rhythm that's recurring, we call it a ritournelle. So it's a French word for a, um, a very present recurring rhythm that you have along the whole uh, music here. So this ritournelle, we have it here in Game of Thrones with the... So... <laughs> He used a rhythm that you have in ternary, definitely. There's many others, so there's a, a, other, lots of other possibilities if you want to write it. This movement by three here, some people could write the score in three, four. Think it like that. I think it more like a six, eight time signature. So there's two, one, two, three, one, two, three, going on like this here. Uh, something else that um, strikes me too is that a, a couple years ago, a couple students that wanted to work on some uh, video game music and thinking about Zelda, uh, Song of Storms, um, they told me, oh, uh, there's a melody that sounds like Game of Thrones. And I thought, wow, uh, Koji Kondo, who, who wrote um, the music of uh, Zelda for that video game there, did something happen between Ramin uh, Jawadi and, and, and Koji Kondo? Someone took something by inadvertence or not? I don't think so. But I'm just going to play a little passage here of that uh, Zelda uh, theme here. So we go on. And when you listen to that, yeah, if you, there's a couple missing notes there. It could make think of Game of Thrones main theme. But frankly, between you and me, I don't think there's any connection. Did Ramin play video games? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But he definitely, both of them definitely didn't copy on each other. It's just something that can happen here because in that uh, Zelda song is a 3-4 and Ramin is playing in a 6-8 um, time signature. So we have um, um, different melodies there and there's a kind of duality in, in the melody. There's a melody coming in and there's a development of, like an answer of the melody here. So we're in the C minor, and suddenly at the beginning, after we're going into C. So we have that modal interchange here, but the C major doesn't stay for very long. We go back to C minor. After going to G minor, B flat, and after going to F minor, to finally end on A flat. So remember, there's three flats there in the original key, and 
And uh, so you have to think it not like E flat, but like C minor, the minor relative here. Okay? But we're in that domain there. It's going to be fluctuant between there. The writing is like a type of medieval song uh, in the chord uh, movements there. And it's like a march going on. So it's, and it's exactly what happens. There's troops advancing in, in two directions, uh, one to invade, the other to protect, defend. After that, we have uh, part two where there's another uh, theme coming out. So we have um, A flat going to E flat. F we have F minor and then C minor. A flat, F minor, G minor, and then we end with no surprise on the C minor. I also see a connection between with Schubert, Franz Schubert, a uh, romantic uh, composer. It always starts bad. There's a little moment of light, but it will always end bad. So that C minor at the end is totally classical romantic. I will never re repeat that enough. You will hear that in all the um, uh, TV movie shows there. Uh, there's something dramatic going to happen, a bad ending or so. Or maybe a happy ending, but just as would say my daughter, Daddy, something's going to happen. And maybe not something good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, um, music analysis of Game of Thrones. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and you can have a look at my other videos there.